Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be running through the steps required to route your Google Pixel XL phone. There isn't much required for this. All you really need is the Google Pixel XL phone and the cable connected to your computer. Before we get into it, I just however want to warn you, so doing this will void your warranty. Uh, warranties are pretty good here in Australia, however, you just need that warning. So. Um, also, you want to make sure that you back up all your pictures, all your data, everything that's on your phone uh, because it's going to wipe everything uh, whilst we conduct the steps. Okay, the first step we're going to need to do is we're going to have to enable USB debugging and also uh, unlock the OEM. So to do this, you're going to have to enable developer options. Uh, to get into developer options, uh, go into your settings. Uh, scroll down to about phone, scroll down to build number, tap that seven times. Here we go, you are now a developer, press back. Uh, you'll see developer options, click on developer options. So OEM unlocking, you want to check that box there, enable. Scroll down, you'll see uh, USB debugging and check that box there and OK. Okay, our next step is we're going to have to install uh, minimum ADB and fastboot. So to do this, I've got a bunch of links which I'm going to put into the description. Uh, they're just in a notepad file here. So the first link, uh, we'll just copy and paste that into our browser like so. Right, if you scroll down to the download section, here we go, downloads, uh, there's two versions there. You've got just the regular version and you've also got a portable version. I'm just going to download the regular version because that's what I'm after. Click here to download. Uh, it's just searching for mirrors right now. Shouldn't take too long to download. I think the file size is only one megabyte. Primary download, uh, it's downloading now. You just want to install that, so once it's finished downloading, just follow the bouncing ball. Next, next. I'm um, just going to install this directly onto the C drive. Next, uh, yeah, desktop icon, I install. After that's complete, you want to launch it. Our next step is we want to unlock the bootloader. So to unlock the bootloader, we're going to have to boot the phone into bootloader mode. So simply power down the device. Once the device is turned off completely, you want to hold the power button whilst also holding the volume down button. This will boot the phone into this screen here, which is referred to as bootloader mode. So at this point, just make sure that your uh, cable is connected to your computer um, and the phone cable is connected into the, uh, the phone as well. Um, if you look down the bottom of where the writing is, you'll see that the device is locked. So by default, these devices come locked. We want to have that unlocked so that we are able to root the phone. All right, the command that you want to type in, so uh, after we installed the minimal ADB and fastboot, uh, we need to type in a uh, command there to unlock the device. So to unlock the device, type in fastboot, flashing, unlock with spaces in between, and press enter on that. You'll notice that the phone has changed its screen. You want to change uh, or press the volume up button and select yes, and then press the power button. So this is going to uh, factory reset the phone, but also uh, unlock the OEM. The device has successfully now been unlocked. You'll be able to notice that by uh, looking down the bottom where the writing is on the phone, it'll say device is unlocked. So the very next step that we want to do is we want to uh, download a stock ROM. So uh, down the description column, you'll see the list of links. The second link, which is Google's website, uh, you just copy and paste that into your browser, like so. And for us, we have the uh, Pixel XL, so it's going to be the Marlin image. 
molecule. So we want the latest one. And for me, the one that worked was uh, this one here. So the 9.0.0, 9 .0, the PPR1, 18.06.10, August 2018. So that's the one that we want. If you just click click on that to download and uh, we'll just wait five minutes for that to download. Okay, the stock image has finished downloading. What we want to do is we want to extract the files located in inside this uh, zip file into our minimum ADV and fastboot folder that we uh, installed earlier on. So it's just in C, minimal ADV and fastboot. Okay. So all I'm doing is uh, extracting all those files straight into that folder, that's it. Alright, the phone is still uh, in the bootloader mode. What we need to do now is we need to flash the uh, stock ROM of uh, Android Pi or 9.0.0 onto the Pixel XL. So if we just open up our command prompt window here, all we have to simply run is flash dash all dot bat and enter on that. Now this can take up to up to five minutes to do, so uh, I'll just fast forward this. Alrighty, so now that's done, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, skip through all the steps here. So it's just like uh, when you got it brand new, you have to go through. Uh, we'll just skip through all this real quickly. One thing you want to do though is you want to uh, set a pin. So I'm just going to set the uh, nice and secure one two three four on this phone yep, cool once it loads you just want to uh, enable USB debugging again so developer mode build number seven times one two three four and developer options there so USB debugging okay cool. now what we want to do is we want to download three files it's going to be uh, TWRP uh, the installer and also the image and uh, Magist right, if you go into the description column you'll see that there are links to these so the third link just copy and paste that into your browser and download the first zip being 323-1 uh, download, that's the installer and if you press back you also want to download the IMG file so uh, it's 323-1 uh, again dash one. so you want to download those two uh, and if you go into the uh, description again the fourth link that'll be Magist copy and paste that into your browser scroll down instead of downloading directly off this however you want to download from the github page so if you go to the official link magist github release click on that we want to download a uh, slightly older version so this is what I found worked for me uh, so I'm just going to run with it so you want to download version 
So you want the zip folder. You don't want the uninstaller. You just want the uh, Magist uh, version 16.7 zip. So if we click on that, and we'll download that one as well. So we should have all three files uh, downloaded now. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to where the files download. Should be the downloads. Yep. Cool. And you'll see that there are three zip folders there and uh, one IMG. So rename the uh, TWRP 323-1 Marlin to uh, just TWRP.IMG like so. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut that into your minimal ADB and fastboot folder. Just paste that in like so. Now the very next thing that we want to do is we want to go back to our downloads. We want to copy the TWRP file and also the uh, Magist zip file onto the phone. So to do that we need to enable the uh, media transfer protocol uh, like so on the phone. Just touch there and you want to change it to file transfer. Should appear on the computer like so and you just want to go uh, cut and just paste that directly onto the internal storage of the phone like so. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the phone into uh, bootloader mode again so power the device down start it back up same way power button uh, whilst holding the volume down button bootloader mode Now if we go back to our computer, we want to open up uh, minimal ADB and fastboot again. Now the command that we're typing in for this is fastboot boot twrp.img with spaces in between. And uh, just enter on that. Now what this is doing is it's booting into the TWRP recovery mode, which is the uh, image that we downloaded before. The very next thing we want to do is we want to unlock or decrypt TWRP, and that'll just simply be our uh, pin unlock, which is one, two, three, four. Just swipe. All right, once you're presented with uh, this screen, you want to click install. Scroll down, you'll see uh, Magist and uh, TWRP. You want TWRP, click on that or touch it. Um, and then you want to slide the tab like that. All right, once that's done, uh, this is a very important step. Make sure you do not press reboot system. So you just want to press back like so. And then what you want to do is install Magist. Slide again. Yep, once that's done, exactly the same. Do not just press reboot system. You want to press back, back again, and then go to reboot, but power off. Click uh, or press do not install. And then simply wait a few seconds. Let the device just sort of rest for a second before uh, powering it back on. Alright, just powering the device back on. This is the point where you uh, touch wood, cross fingers and uh, hope it works.
Good sign. Now uh, we'll just unlock it. Uh, give it a few seconds for Magis to appear. There it is. You'll see that uh, it has Magist installed. So uh, I just need to connect this to the Wi-Fi real quickly. There we go. I've just connected it to the Wi-Fi. We'll just reload Magist. Uh, and it will appear, do you want to install Magist Manager? So this is the newest version. And uh, yes, we want to. So if you just click Install, Allow, you'll start downloading the APK. Yep, once that appears, go Settings, Allow from this source, Back, and Install. You want to uh, decline Play Protect for now. You can enable it in the future. Uh, and Magist Manager, the newest version of Magist Manager has just been installed. So now it's asking us if we want to update to version 18 of Magist. Alright, so click install. And uh, the method that I used was uh, direct install, which is also the recommended method. So just wait for that to install. Alright, all done. Once it's complete, you want to reboot the phone down in the uh, bottom right corner here. Alright, the phone's rebooted. Let's check to make sure that we have the uh, latest version. Quickly check the system. Android version 9. So we've got Pi on here at the moment. Magist. Latest version 18 and it's installed. So there you have it, guys. All done. We've successfully uh, rooted a Google Pixel XL phone. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave some comments, uh, like my video. Uh, thank you for watching.